So hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and I am Fed Dostrahama and in this video we are going to see how to use this 7 segment display with our Arduino. So this is our circuit, so now let's see how we can actually build it. I show you here. So these are the connections point. So if you can see these are actually connected to every to different segments. So this one is connected to this segment, this one is connected to this segment and this one is connected to this segments. So now if I, so what I have done here is I have connected 8 register for this 8 segments. This is, there are 7 and this one is the 8th one. So these 8 segments. So all of them are actually 1 kilo ohm register as you can see in here. So I have connected them as serial wise. So this one is the segment number 1 or A. This one is B. This one is C. This is D then we have E and F and and that's how all of this actually go so this one is G actually so this is E so that's how I have connected all of this so A, B, C, D, E, F, G and this is DP, DP is this one so we will call this DP as dot as decimal point so this one the first one is connected to A so it is connected to this connection point which is connected to this first segment so the A is connected to this, then the second one is connected to this connection point which is the B, okay, so uh, which is the B, then this one we have connected this, so here from this is connected to this connection point which is connected to the third register. So that is how I have connected all of them, so you can see from here, so if I can say this is A, this is B. C, D, E, F, G. So that's how I have connected all of this. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And this is the dot point which is connected to this connection point as you can see. So that's how I have connected all of this. And then I have connected all these wires from the register to our Arduino from 8, from 2 to 9 sequentially. So this is 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So that's how I have connected this, created this circuit. So as you have seen in the diagram, this circuit is built in the same way. So there is all our 8 register which are 1 kilo ohm and I have connected all of them according to the diagram and so this is the pin that is connected to the ground of our arduino and these are all the pins that are connecting all of this all of these pins to our arduino so this is actually built in the same way that i have shown you in the diagram so now we are in our arduino id the first thing is that we have defined all the pins so here are all the pins that I have connected to our Arduino so here the a b means the segment 1 segment b of our 7 segment display so then and the dp is the decimal point or the dot in our 7 segment display and now as mine is a common cathode display that's why I have written defined it as common cathode and then 0 as as mine is common cathode if you use yours is common anode then just write common anode and one for it so now we are going to set the boolean uh, the set our sec mode so this is a boolean function uh, boolean variable as we can only set it to as one or zero or which will define if it is a common cathode or not or common anode so here as mine is common cathode, I have written common cathode which is actually 0 as I have defined it here. Then I have created a array named seg where I have def uh, where I have kept all the pins, all of my pins. Then I have defined a byte variable cars which has the max value of 10 as it will be an it will be used in an array. So here I have the array which is a 10 by 9 array as it will be a 10 2 dimensional array 
because we are going to we have to display we are going to display from 0 to 9 in our 7 segment display and every digit that we are going to print will have the value of every 7 or 8 in this case with the dot the dot and we have to write all of their value as on or off here by 1 and 0 so that's why we have a two dimensional array which is 10 by 9 so that's uh, what i have written here then we come to our void setup part and in your setup part we will set all of the out pins as output and that's what i have done pin mode to output and say 0 0 means the uh, index number of all of these pins so 0 is a 1 is b 2 is c just like that everything is defined here so now we are in, a, we are in our void print function and this is a user defined function that we have defined in here and write it by myself so we are going to call this in our main program which is in the void loop function so we are going to call it here as i have called it here print so this is the print i have called it in here so when the this for loop runs in our void loop function whatever this i's value is will be sent to here so let's say now it is zero so there it will be zero and this zero will be sent to this integer num into this num so the num is now zero so i have let's just remember this for now that this is equal to zero and now if our segment mode is equal to zero which is actually zero because our segment mode is common cathode which is defined at zero so now if we see there is a for loop and in the for loop we are running it less than eight times or that means seven times so here in this in this for loop we have written digital write segment i then cars num and i plus one and that is the uh, this is the uh, the array that we have defined here and this is the array which are which uh, we have defined here so the easy one is you can look it up from here so let me let me clear it out little bit so you can un is understand this easily so what we actually want to write in here is digital write output and then the and then we want to and we want to tell the program which array which part of the array we are we want to use or which part of this cars array we want to use so this will always be we want this as always output the seg i the first portion the first portion of our function we want this always as output so the segment i no matter what happens just don't just think it as always in output because we have defined all of them as output so no matter what the loop is running it will change at from uh, 1 2 3 the i will change from 0 to 7 but it will always give out the output so you can actually delete this and write output but that's that will not be recommended then we come to here in this array so as i have told you the num is equal to 0 so this is also 0 so this will be set to 0 so here we have 0 let's say the for loop is now running and we have got i is equal to 0 so we take this here so i is equal to 0 plus 1 so why i have added 1 is because the first element of our array is an integer actually so it is written as 0 so we don't want this because this will not help in our in leading the segments in our seven segment display so we want to take the value from this portion from the second one or from the uh, index number one because this one's index is zero so that's what i have done so one zero plus one is one so it will take the character so the array we have got is cars zero one so the cars zero one is cars zero is this and the one is now this so the first element of our array is fixed for this loop as i have told the num is zero so this will be fixed so the only thing we will be changing is this one 
and this one so don't don't care we don't care about this as it will always be in output so let's understand this so this is now 0 plus 1 so it is 1 so we take this value and send it to our uh, send it to our 7 segment display then the loop runs and it becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 it will take this value and send it to our segment segment display and that's how it will run through all of this and it will go this whole array will actually go at once in our segment segment display but in our for loop it will be going from here to here then here then here but in reality all of this part of this array will be sent to our seven segment display at once so what it's telling our seven segment display is this the element number a b c d e and f will be lit and the g and dp will be off the g one is the middle one and the dp is the dot one so that's how we're going to create the number zero so that's how this program is running and after this has run for seven times here so this will come out come out of this function and this function uh, or this in this loop function this for loop will run again and this will become one and this one will be sent to this print i so the print i will be one and it will send it here which will be now one and this whole loop will start again so that's how this program is actually working so as you can see that our seven segment display is running and it is working perfectly so here 8 9 and the loop will begin again 0 so there the loops begin so it will actually print from 0 to 9 and it will begin the loop again if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this